What's going on, everybody? It's Fade Dating Coach Elliot Scott, and as you can see, well, first off, we got a different outlook here, or different outlook, a different uh, view, a different, a different scene here. I think it's going to be easier for me to explain things. Uh, I like to get up and move around. I'm very animated. Um, it's going to be a little more energy too, so I apologize in advance. But as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about the only reason, ladies, you should be taking a dude back, okay? And we're going to jump right into it. Simple, okay? The only way you should be taking a dude back, and we'll get into a lot more than just this, obviously, as you can see, but it starts here. If, if he's willing to commit to you. Now, why is this? Okay, well, why is this so important? There's, there's two reasons. I tell women it's the only way for you to guarantee a win. I hate to say it like that, but think of it like this. There's four outcomes, okay? There's you win or you, you both want the same thing. That's one. There's you guys want different things. Either you want it and he doesn't or vice versa. So there's three or you both do not want it okay you both don't want a relationship then what's the point of this video what's the point of him coming back and what's the point of you watching this video or getting pissed about anything right hopefully you're still with me so the only way you win is if you yourself knowing you want a relationship and you're unsure what he wants he could be coming back you're not sure what he wants, but the only way you get certainty is by him committing. Anything else is risk. The second thing is risk avoidance. You have to understand, ladies, that when a man comes back, okay, well, let's start here. When a man comes back, 90% of the time, in my opinion, it's for the assets. That's even a little more generous. Or generous. Uh, I think it's like 95%. 5%, he realizes he's a knucklehead and wants the relationship, he made a mistake. Okay? But because of this, and because you don't know what it is, what, what reason, um, you have to ask up front, hey, you're back. You must be ready. You must have done some thinking. You had some time to yourself. What's going on here? Okay, what's going on? Let's have a relationship. So I know you can't see this right here. It might be a little smaller, but I call this the timeline of negotiation. And you have to understand, ladies, that when a man comes back around, he wins if he convinces you of a relationship, but he convinces you later on, okay? That's like, a good analogy of that would be like if you and I were negotiating salary at, we're sitting down literally in front of each other negotiating salary and and our contract is us shaking hands hey you do it for me man i'll give you that bonus you want so then you have to do it okay and then maybe i give you the bonus maybe not who knows that's the problem so he go, so you guys go through the relationship timeline say he comes back around and he convinces you, hey, I'll change, man. I, I just need to slow down. I, I just need some time. We'll get there. So he's getting all the benefits, and you're hoping at the end it pays off. That's where you lose, right? So if he commits at the end, he's winning. It says him winning right here. If he commits in the beginning, you win. You win. That's the only, and, and, and women might be watching this, and they'll be like, but I want it to be fair, Elliot. I want this to be fair. Like, if he's coming back, that's great. You know, he, he, he done some thinking. He's trying. You don't know. No, Lace, you don't know that. You already gave him an opportunity. You already gave him a chance. He effed up. We, we already know we're dealing with a... Uh, uh, unstable, I don't want to say emotionally unavailable, but we're, uh, like an unstable, uh, unstable variable. Like, the guy already came and went. He already did that, and he's back. You cannot play the same game. You have to be more cautious. Again, this is a game of risk avoidance. This is a game of risk avoidance. You can't just let a guy come back and get his spot back in line and continue it, which leads me over into the traps. Let me get on this side. The traps women fall for. Women fall for these things all the time. Ladies, the first one you all fall for is effort over results. Now, the reason I have these up here and the reason I'm making this video 
is I had a client who fell for this. I had two clients yesterday who came to me saying, we're talking to a guy, literally same situation. We're talking to a guy who came back and things are going well, but they're not. We feel like a couple, we feel like a relationship, but we're not. And I told her his job is to get security. Okay. His job is risk avoidance. It's to get security. So if he can come back and act like a boyfriend without paying the cost of being a boyfriend, he's going to do it. And you get stuck in this situation where he'll come back. He'll give you, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll give you what you want, woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll text you more. I'll do this. I'll step up a little bit. As well, you know, long as we have sex and I get the assets, but we're not a relationship. You're going to be hopeful through this entire thing, and he's gonna get the benefits without paying the cost of a relationship. And when I say cost, I just mean like actually committing um, and transitioning into something a little more serious, which gets me to the second thing, hope versus change. A lot of women stick around and give the guy the benefit of the doubt because you start really liking the guy and you become hopeful for, uh, for change, right? And you stick around giving him, again, this timeline, hoping for the change at the end, right? The results, but you don't get it. And then you wonder why you're in the situation you're in. Goes back to what I said in the beginning, ladies, the man has to commit. If you're talking to a guy who is not committing, okay? He's, I tell, I tell my, I literally just had a client actually before this video. And I told her, you're talking to a guy right now who's unsure about a relationship, he's promising you all these things, but he's unsure about a relationship. He says pretty much to me, he said he didn't want one, but he's still blowing up your phone. Ladies, if a guy is sticking around and he's blowing up your phone and he's keeping you right? He's keeping you happy. He's keeping you around and he's not wanting a relationship or he's not giving you a relationship. The, the, what, what's the point? Ladies, what's the point of this? This is what he wants. If I keep you around but don't want a relationship and we're not progressing towards a relationship, it's for the assets. He wants security, security of the assets. That's what he wants, ladies. That's why you only win. This is all a negotiation. I can't stress that enough. You know, people get mad at me for saying that, but it's the truth. This is all negotiation. You only win 100% of the time if you're talking to a guy who comes back and says, yeah, I messed up. Yeah, I screwed up a little bit. My bad. I, I wasn't thinking. What, what was I thinking? You know, um, let's do this. That's the only way you win. That's a high value woman. A high value woman doesn't roll the dice. Okay. A high value woman doesn't take risk. That's not in her agenda. That's not that's not mother nature's intention. You know, again, we can go into like parental investment theory and how you're the more invested sex into the offspring. Therefore you have, because of that higher investment, it's riskier for you to choose a wrong mate. Therefore you have to be more cautious in choosing a mate. Okay. You have to be more cautious in choosing a mate. So you're all, your, your whole strategy is risk avoidance, but ladies, you get into these traps right? Which the third one, by the way, is emotions equal uh, rationality or being irrational. The higher a woman's emotions go, the, the less or the more rational she is, the less rational she becomes. And, and by the way, you, you ladies, you do all three of these at the same time. I, th this is why I make money on this shit. I hate to say it like that. You know, I love you guys, but your boy makes good money unfortunately off other people's misfortunes. This sounds horrible, but therapists do the same thing. It, it, it's, it's really sad because I try to help women get through these things and see these things with my videos. But this last thing right here proves what I'm, I'm, I'm really driving home. Despite the rational stuff I say in my videos, despite having over a thousand videos, despite giving away all these guides, right? Despite knowing all this, you have cognitive dissonance. Your emotions are high, so your thinking is low. That's human nature. It's not your fault. Men do it too. It's human nature. But that's why I try to simplify it, and I tell women, "Hey, I know you like. I, I, I know you like the guy. I know. Trust me. I know. But you don't know why he's returning. You do not know. You do not know. The only way you're sure is if the guy can uh, commits. He commits." 
That's the only way. Now, women will come to me and say, well, yeah, he could commit, but he could do it again. That's true. Well, then you're just talking to a piece of shit. Like, it's like sex, right? Like, the only way not to have a fucking baby is to not have sex. Like, no matter what you do, even if you're getting a vasectomy, there's still a fucking chance. That's just how it is. There's still a chance. Same with dating. If you're putting yourself out there, you're being vulnerable, there's always a chance you're talking to a piece of shit. There's always a chance you're talking to a manipulator. My goal is to minimize that risk as much as possible. And that's by you being a high value woman, not falling for this bullshit right here, right? Look, looking at effort over results. Hey, great, bro, you're putting in the effort. I appreciate it, but I want, I want fucking relationship. I want a relationship, okay? This is the only thing that matters. To sum this up, ladies, if you have a guy who's coming back, the only reason you should be giving him any attention is if you're talking to him and you say, hey, you must have done some thinking. Yeah, yeah, I have. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I was an idiot, man. I just got a lot going on. Please be patient with me. I want a relationship. If I, let's try this. We can do it, you know, your way. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, we are going to do it my motherfucking way. You know, like, that's, that's how it needs to be. You need to agree to a relationship, right? And then your security, your security um, goes up dramatically. You're avoiding risk, okay? And he's avoiding risk too, because if he wants the same thing as you, everyone's happy. That's the problem. It's when you guys don't get into a relationship, it's, it's, it's like, huh, funny. Why, why is this hard? Why is this difficult? I had this problem with my clients. I'm like, hun, the only problem here is him. You want a relationship. He knows you want a relationship. He came back saying he wants a relationship. Why not? Oh, I, I, was, I was jumping around. Like, why aren't you in a relationship? It's him. He's feeding you some bullshit. He's trying to get some type of advantage on you. Because if you both want the same thing and you both want to avoid risk, it would be jumping into a relationship, okay? That being said, ladies, I hope I helped you with this. Let me know in the comments if you like this. If you want to get my guides, links are down below. If you want to work with me, links down below. Love you all. Take care and peace.